little quick uh, thing today is uh, going to talk about one of the most important components of any cocktail or drink that you can sort of do at home and that's um, ice. I mean essentially every drink you want to have majority of this point are using to be chilling or diluting and one thing that's over quite of often overlooked is the ice you're actually using to chill and to change your drinks. So here I've got sort of three basic, basic different styles of ice you're going to find. We have crushed, cubed and uh, larger cube. Um, this here is a, a style of cube I would use, I uh, see a nice two inch cube. If I was going to serve a, stir, a heavy cocktail, it's going to sip on because it's going to, not going to melt as quick um, and it's going to take long to dilute so you can sit there and enjoy the drink at the right temperature. Essentially the way ice works is, especially if you're using cubed ice, is as it starts to melt, you see here, it forms a layer of water on the outside. So once you put this into your shaking vessel, essentially the surface area that you're putting in, you're already putting a layer of water in. So if you're putting this kind of ice into your drink, there's a lot of water going into your drink immediately, so you're not going to need to shake it as hard or you're not going to dilute it as long because it's going to melt a lot quicker. So be very wary of what kind of ice you're using, how clean it is, um, how much water you're putting in because the last thing you want is a watered down, over diluted drink. So think about your drink, um, what style of drink you're trying to achieve, how hard you want to shake it, do you want a two inch cube that's going to be nice and good and hard for shaking or do you want something bigger that's going to like sit on the ice. So uh, freeze fruit in the middle of it to make it nice and pretty however you like but as again back to basics, think about the ice you're using.